What are you afraid of? Not being accepted? Not saying the right thing? The monster under the bed? Sharks? Or maybe even the dark? It's easy to fear what we do not understand, but when we have a knowledge of the subject, we can come to the conclusion as to whether it should be feared or not, because we know the truth. The truth is often a difficult thing to find, but this makes it something that is so valuable to us. As Winston Churchill once said, Truth is so precious, she should always be attended by a bodyguard of lies. The truth exposes what is false, so that there is no room for discussion about what is going on. Are you afraid of the truth? The exposing of a wrong you did in the past? The exposing of a wrong done to you that you wish would disappear forever? Undiluted truth in this way might seem even more worrying than ignorance. It is bliss, after all. But what if truth was paired with full acceptance despite what might have gone on before? What if truth was paired with grace? Everything exposed but in the context of deep love and acceptance. An exposing of things but with the ability to make those things right and move on. Knowledge enough to know what to be weary of, but at the same time the ability to face life with courage, knowing that if you make a mistake you can try again. This is the way of living that Jesus offers us, grace and truth. Yes, there are some things that we should be afraid of, with good reason, but living with grace and truth exposes these things to us and enables us to live despite them. Jesus offers us a relationship where gradually true, authentic love will drive out all of our fears. It doesn't mean that these things will disappear straight away, but we have offered a way of living within this life that can enable us to live despite the fear that we face and to even thrive in the process.